Oh, hello there. How's everyone doing? Welcome back, YouTubers, Gunners, and subscribers. A little bit of change of uh, introduction here. Why not? I had a lot of fun that last vlog. It was a long day. It was a 12-hour day, but it was worth it. This Lexan came out amazing. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that last vlog. I hope you smashed that like button. And I uh, hope you left a nice positive comment. With that being said, thank you so much for the suggestions in the comment section about the sway bar. I am in search now for either a CTR or an ITR uh, Integra or CT CTR obviously um, sway bar for the front. The end links I'm not worried about. I'm pretty sure I could find some nice spherical ones aftermarket. But I need help finding that bar. So if anyone can help me, just DM me let me know. But uh, we're back again with more updates with Manolo. Today, today we got our Mayhem bars and bumper supports. You know, you're going to need that for this type of driving, aggressive driving. You don't want to ruin your chassis. So I picked these up pretty affordable. They came powder coated. I got front and rear uh, 600, 605 bucks shipped. So $90 for shipping, $515 for the set, powder coated, texture black. Very nice, very nice. I'm opening them up right now. This guy does some real good stuff. His wife is also uh, battling cancer. I just I just found out about him. I just found him on Instagram. And uh, his, his wife is battling cancer. And um, maybe you guys can drop a, a, prayer emoji, a prayer emoji in the comments for his wife. Uh, it's whatever basically I seen on... Um, on Instagram that he shared so you know hey Nick you know we're praying for your wife brother you know God willing she gets over this she beats it she keeps gunning you guys enjoy your life and you keep making badass parts but nonetheless she's been in my prayers a few nights so drop a prayer emoji anybody anybody battling cancer it's such a, it must be such a scary feeling because you don't know the results. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. Your life is in the air. So, sympathize, feel bad for people. At the same time, just keep strong and, and, and keep a positive mindset. Um, but yeah, we're here. We're back. It's another vlog. I hope you guys are enjoying this build. I have to bring up the, the energy in here right now. So, make sure you smash that like button and... Um, Let's start gunning. All right, now. All right, guys. All right, guys. Okay, boys. You are not yanking all the way and trying to dump the back. Talk about it. Front's on, not fully bolted yet, obviously. But man, this thing looks badass. So, this is a great addition to our circuit build. Again, this basically is gonna be right on the bumper, so this becomes basically the bumper in case of any, you know, bump and grind, pause. So, very nice, very nice work, very nice craftsmanship. Very nice welds. Great job, Nick, man. Hell of a job with these bars. Uh, so that's front. I got the rear here. We're going to bolt that up, obviously. It's factory location. Lines up amazing. Amazing. Lines up perfectly. Very good job, Nick. So wanted to give him his flowers. Things badass. I'm going to install this. I think today, um, man, that looks nice. Great job, bro. Wow. I think today's plans is this, Gunners, keep up with me. We're gonna reset the garage, clean up, move some stuff we're not gonna be using, right? Uh, clean up that little dump over there, pause. Um, we're gonna, I think we should mount the spoiler since it's so big, it's out of the way, pause. Um, man, that's a good pause. 
What else? Uh, and maybe attack this radiator situation now. Now we have our bumper, we have our bumper support, we have our radiator. We're probably gonna have to get rid of this guy down here and uh, move forward. So looking forward to the day, but I can't really start working without cleaning all of this mess. To me, it's a mess. Like you see stuff is just, this is not the way to work. Man, I just put the back one on, pause. So now in case uh in case some aggressive driving happens, we've got some kind of support. This lighting isn't doing it justice. This door's heavy. It's very nice. Came out good. Just bolted it up, had uh, two fresh 17s, put them at the top, had the original ones here, put those on the bottom, full bolt on, didn't have to modify nothing. Very, very good bar. Very nice. I'll give you guys a real good view of it. I'm just trying to give it its just due and justice. But it came out sick. Yes, sir. So trapeze almost here. We're gonna get this uh we're gonna get this trunk aligned a little bit better as much as we could here. You know, I think we can close this gap a little bit more. Is this closed? Oh there it is. It just wasn't closed all the way. So I don't know. So it's like basically before we put the spoiler on, let's just make sure all this stuff is aligned up, you know, aligned. I don't know what aligned up means. Uh, big shout out to, if you know, you know. Got my bumper there. We've got to figure this situation out. I'm going to bring out the radiator. You guys really haven't seen it on camera yet. I'll bring that out soon. We'll worry about that afterwards, but the spoilers prepped. I tightened up um, right here. I kind of left this loose because I uh, want to see how it sits on that factory spoiler. You do, just for a reference, guys, I learned this uh, watching a couple of vlogs or a couple of posts. You do need a metal one. It needs to be metal because um, we're, we're going to obviously... So they give you like nuts and bolts that you can drill through, catch it from the other side, pause. We're just gonna nut cert ours. We trust nut certing. We use them all the time. Uh, they're just as strong as nut and bolt. So we're gonna end up nut certing this and nut certing down here to this bracket there. But I'm just waiting for Trappy to get here because this is very hard to do by myself. It's really, really went God. And PD look good over there. How you doing, brother? Um, it's really windy today. It's cold. I love it. I'll take this all day over the heat, man. All day. But, man, just a lot of progression. Oh, uh, this stuff really works good. If anyone ever wants to remove, like, a, a uh, an emblem or anything and clean it up, this stuff works great. Unfortunately, I tried heating this up. Um, it's gonna need one of those clay wheels. Um, I see them use them on like I see them using them I see them using them at body shops. I'm just gonna order one for my drill and Just remove that so it could be nice and clean a little damage here scratch, but again We've made the decision to go out there um, Just like this, you know a bunch of detail just get down to the nitty-gritty of the vehicle and then after that, we'll start applying all the nice, cool, um, you know, paint and whatever. But for right now, we're just trying to get this car, you know, running, driving, and want to hit the road and hit a bunch of tracks and get a bunch of seat time. Because ultimately, that is the most important part of circuit racing. It is um, seat time. So... We need to hurry up and get some seat time. What we did was, uh, Trappy's here. Yo, morning. They've been waiting for you. They've been waiting morning. for you. Pause. Morning. Morning. Um, we just snugged up these brackets a little bit because they were just way too loose. Remember, I put this on by hand. Ended up tightening here on these bolts. These are snugged up pretty tight. And now we just got to do some placement. So we have instructions here. It's telling us to position this uh, bracket flush to the back of the spoiler 
almost, you know, a, a closer to the roof. Yeah. Probably bring it right up to the edge. Mm -hmm. Maybe not too close to the edge where it could hit the the roof when we open. Uh, it. something in, in the in the instructions it talks about the hinge. Okay. It says it should be to the left and right of the hinge. I guess we'll get a, a better look at it when we actually put it on to the trunk. Class. Man, this thing is. I just I'm can't believe how clear it is. I can't. It's the perfect tint, honestly. I can't. Be, yeah, it's almost like a like the JDM the bronze, JDM right? bronze. It's yeah. Like maybe it's the silver and it being dark yeah. that makes it look bronze, but it looks really good. These windows came out great. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm excited ready? for this. Let's do it. What do you got? Uh, I measured everything up, marked everything. Probably can't see it because we did it with a green marker. Well, um, probably, you could probably show them back. Well, we just, this moved up a little bit, but basically we got that even. We're off this bracket, just for reference, anyone yeah, using anyone an EK, we went from bracket to the end of the trunk, end of the roof, at an inch and a half inch apart half. on each side. Inch and a half here. And you've got, give or take, an inch and a half here. So that's centered. Trappy marked it and the three holes. Then we did these right here on the bottom. Mark that. See, it's off a little bit because Trap moved it, but it's not his fault. So we're right about there on the trunk part here. And uh, we'll measure that distance and make sure it's even before we drill. But you can rip it off, Trap. Yeah, I'm thinking we could probably, we could probably set up the bottom rib nuts. Or would you want to start at the I would say we should start at the top. Because the bottom we can move around, remember, it, yeah, it's not see. even with the top of the spoiler. So if you notice the instructions here, uh, the width of the top is actually shorter than the bottom. Mm -hmm. So 28 and a quarter to 29 and a half. Yeah, on the outside. Mm -hmm. So honestly, it looks about right because look where this one would be and look where this one would be. Yeah. It looks like an inch mm -hmm. difference. Pretty good. And this looks so even from like here to here. It's not that hard of an install. It is intimidating though, because you don't want to. It's a wing, you don't want to mess up. You don't want to mess up. So, uh, what do you think? Drill the tops, yeah. put the nut certs in. Yeah, let me get, you have the punch over there? I have, uh, no, you got to get the kit from the box. So, we're going to punch these uh, six holes on the top, put our nut certs in. We're going to run 10 millimeters. These are great to have at the shop. A gunner sent us actually uh, an extra kit too. Big shout out to him. We love and appreciate you, brother. Um, yeah, M6. We Trappy, well, Trappy bought this. He bought a 100 pack because we're always putting 10 millimeters and whatnot. And that's, yeah, so we'll punch that there. This probably should be easy because the wing is so thin, you know? It is thin, yeah. All right, let us get this part. to go more more into the spoiler yeah yeah you see it? it's got mm -hmm. another layer this drill bit isn't great I'm not really trusting doing this on here I might have to pilot them all of them honestly what I trust is taking off the spoiler it's it's four tenths yeah, we got a mark anyways. I think we're good. Pause. 
I've Yo, seen that's some. A, that's a nice hoodie you got there. Thanks, man. I know the guy that makes them. Um, tuck these in, guys. I've seen some catastrophic stuff in my life. Worse. Trust some me. bad failures. I've, I've worked with Seize the Champ. <laughs> Put it that way. He's probably got one of those stuck in a B-Series time My man ago. Seize used to build full cars one day in Chancletas. <laughs> Pause. So I start at level one on the gun all the time. It's just repetition. I get my groove going. And I speed up the gun. Pause. That's it, we're marked, trap. Man, this came out ugly, but thank God we went smaller. Yeah. So now when we use our 3 8 bit, it's gonna clean it up. Yeah. Right, I'll get that all taken care of. Is there On this segment of Gems with Trappy, get yourself a nice little file like this and file the edges. So when you nut it, it's flat. Pause on this clip too. Now, you're not certain it's flush. Don't be a butcher. Thank you. Come again. Pause. What you doing here? I am just setting up my nut certs for this bottom bracket. We uh, did our measurements here. We're exactly where the sheet tells us, which is 29 and a half inches from this mark here to that mark here, which is what references to the bottom. So just putting in, we've got, um, Three more nut certs and we're finished with this spoiler. It is tedious, you don't want to mess up, so take your time. Measure twice, cut once. Look at my boy with the wing on him, bro. That's it, Buckets. This guy's stable. Really good. No, it's super, it looks super so square. How's the light look over there? No, it, look, good it looks good. It looks good. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, you see what I was telling you? How we, I think we were having a hard time seeing them, but look how straight they are. Yeah, they're perfectly straight. Yeah. We measured 17 times and cut once. Word. <laughs> that's, that's a fact. It's the best way to do it because it's tedious. So It One sucks because we got to take it off. We got to get our cute gunning sticker up here. Yeah, definitely have to get it. It's it has... like a dope ass, like a... Like a satin silver one. Yeah, I like that. The black and silver theme is... It's crazy how everything is kind of just... It flows together. We got white fender cutouts, white ITR mirrors. It's like everything's working. Yeah, and we're going to leave it like that for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I think, I think it should hit the track like this till, till we get, you know, used to it. Well, the good thing is... um, The good thing is that we could leave the drill out because we have to get rid of that frame. Just to show them that tent, my bad, letting them know we got tent. Bronze tent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bronze but yeah. tent. Um, this is pretty loose. Again, we don't even want to stick this thing up there, so we figured... Yeah, this is just, just like storage for it. We're Honestly, not, it is storage. Yeah, it's storage because if we have it laying around, it's it's something I end up I'm happening to it. I'm loving the way this car is coming out, man. It has so no. much... Look how aggressive that is, though. It like has the so side much, views. Yeah. Raised. It has so much form and function already and it hasn't even raced yet. <laughs> Word. This might be the most functional car in racing. Word, and it hasn't even raced. All right. It's time to get rid of this section here. Chuck, you want to get that radiator so we can show them? Yeah. It's right there. Uh, we're we're going to have to take out this section here because if we try to mount the radiator, radiator inside, we're way too close to the manifold. We want to keep heat out of the compartment. So, big again, shout out to Spoon. Yeah. Bless us with this one. 
It's a CSF. I think CSF is the only company that makes uh, a radiator which mm -hmm. you can put. I think they have some kind of have like like, a patent, on like a patent on it to where you can put an AN fitting. So we're using obviously dash 16s. We need to get one more of these. I can't find the part number on here, Trap. Is that the part number? I got to figure out the part number because yeah. we need to get the same thing with the. But I don't think we could put a shroud on this side. No, I think we're actually going to have to. Yeah, we're going to have to come up with something because we should get a shroud. It should be shrouded for heat purposes. We'll figure something out. There. Well, this is the motor side. Like. You see, that's factory. Like, that's from them. Mm -hmm. Two more little tabs wouldn't hurt. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So, we got to get rid of this section here. Uh, we marked where our spot welds are. And we are just going to try to cheat this one, Trap. Yeah. We're going to try to cheat this one because that is a lot of spot welds. So, remember, when you're removing this, this might intimidate you. Like, damn, I got to do all of these? Nah. You just take them off from right here and right here and that whole thing drops down and we're going to end up just using a traction bar arm to help us uh hold the radiator that should be a good traction there's history on the traction bar i'll talk about it when i get it it's a special one yeah, i'll special. talk about it when i get it so obviously you see what he's doing He's gonna start um, punching each uh, spot weld so our drill bit doesn't run. And we're running out of drill bits. <laughs> uh, trap, boy did I jinx this drill bit set. Yo. I bragged about it with Koenig and they're done. Yeah. It's time for a you new got set. Every time it was over. Yo, that's it. We, we landed on, uh, he made it to YouTube. So there's a couple of really good ones, but the majority of the ones that we use are really beat up, and it's time for a new set. So right, we're about, we're about six parts to set up. Now this thing, I'm never getting rid of this shot. I'm uh -huh. always hold on to this guy. This he's done a lot for the move. Yeah, he's gonna go up there with Don Cannon. We got Don Cannon's uh, ashes up there. We cremated Don Cannon. He's up there. He's in. He's in, he's, in, he's always here. He's always here in spirit. I'll tell you one thing. He kicks this camera's ass with battery life. Yeah. Yes, battery sir. Battery life, you ain't touching, you ain't touching Don mm -hmm. You Quality's crazy behind Nah. The, the lighting got better. I don't know, man. The Sony got a nice advantage. But, all right. That's comes from a good family. He That's does. it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Good household. Yeah. Yep. After we total every drill bit, we start using them correct. <laughs> After we done totaled our entire set, we're like, yo, maybe we should start putting oil on them and saving them. <laughs> you could have just did this from the beginning. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> After we totaled them, you know. <laughs> Shout out to the gunner that came through, though. You showed him this yet? What? The memorabilia they brought us yesterday? Yeah, man, Trap, uh, I, don't, I don't know if that's a good idea, squishing them, because those might be worth some money. Nah, nah, they're, they're lightly on there, they're lightly on there. This one's in a hard case, we need a hard case for this one. Maybe both of them in a hard case. They're bash bros. There's not a spot on this car you could look at and be like, oh, that's, no, everything's, everything's perfect. Shout out Mayhem. That's fine. Always use oil. <laughs> Always use oil when you get in that spot. Right?
you're wondering why he's using a you know, step bit, check that battery. Um, you see the diameter of the spot weld. He's just eliminating the diameter of it, and then it'll just peel off. Pause. So he's breaking, basically, he's breaking the spot weld in between the pilot holes that I set out. I hope that makes sense. It's pretty self-explanatory, right? Huh? We're probably still gonna have some some attachment to it, but it should be fairly easy. The camera's on, so it's gonna be terrible. The camera's on. It's gonna be hard as hell. Yeah. Usually right here, it's mm -hmm. spot on. Camera's on, what do you expect? Camera's More. on. Let me shut the camera off. Don't, don't. Yep, it's coming. Oof, that would have cost you your arm, buddy. Look at all this space now. Look at all this activity. So most likely, we are going to cut all of this right trap yeah probably. all the way to the frame rail and have this open space you know well we should get the radiator yep and see what we're looking at because if because I, I like this little setup this little step right here so if we can get the radiator because I, I really want to do like a really good job at keeping the heat out of the engine bay like i want our ducting to be real nice and i want to have nice seals the right way the right way we're not we're not taping anything Why are you always shading, bro? Yeah. All Why right. are you always shading, man? Moving, moving right along. Was oh, this not a, a nice uh, removal? Removal? Yeah, not bad. Pretty clean, if you ask me. Um, you know how many people right now are like, "Damn, I put the saws on to it." <laughs> nah, just, you know what? Hey, listen, man. A little bit of time. Get it how you live, bro. I understand. Some people don't want to do this, but it only took us about ten minutes max. Ten twenty minutes. 20 minutes trap it's been it's been about 10 minutes yeah done clean out of the way um we need to get that radiator and then we need to put our mayhem bar over it too it maybe we up. could use like um the jack a piece of wood and then just mock up something. just mock up yep let's just take a quick look at it trap trap so you see what i was saying maybe we don't want to cut yet because look if we can get this to sit like this mm -hmm. this is that's that's very nice you know what i'm saying this have a Let nice me, little gasket um, on here and so what you want to make i like want to make hole an access hole for right. that pause yep. and i think we also Probably have to notch, notch here yep. for the fitting but let me see how this let me see how the bottom fit lines up oh my god trap crazy it's gonna be uh twin 90s that's fine twin 90s bro you see though what why i don't want to cut we might get away with just cutting maybe along this straight line mm -hmm. not cutting too much and then having to add something later mm -hmm. but this 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 fills up that whole hole pause hey you said it not me <laughs> mayhem bar back on we were worried about clearances trap look at this oh we could my fit god two guys here. we could probably yeah we could literally put two radiators so we can get like function out of it depending how our the bar we're gonna use fits on there Look at this, we can like be at an angle. Like, nah, but remember, we still need to be, the grill. we still need to have access to here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're right about the grill. If we get the bumper, if we get this on there. Yeah, but I don't think the grill, nah, the grill's not gonna interfere with that because the grill's gonna sit here. Yeah. That's why we need the jack. We need everything set up. Like set up and then try. Yup, all right. We got some, uh, 
Some memorabilia. Some more memorabilia. Does anyone remember this bar right here? Damn, I should make it a trivia, but I might as well. I might as well see it now. You got the hoodie on. This is our first uh, traction bar setup. It's an NRG Tech uh, traction bar setup when we used to be drag racers. Yeah, we were washed up drag racers. Yeah. We All had, right, we so. Had this whole setup. Hell yeah. So, man, now we have our basically our traction bar on. Traction on. Oh shit, look, it's Yolanda. So Yolanda, she's snitching on somebody. Yeah, she coming out that cab. Times. No, 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 she came in a cab so she don't lose mm. her spot. That piece of S, piece of S. Trying to keep the cussing down. You see me, YouTube, you see me. Okay, Trap, you wanna, so we ended up taping that radiator uh, with a cardboard so we don't mess it up. So we're just gonna make some brackets off of here. Won't lie to you guys, this looks incredible. We'll be like around there. I gotta make an access hole. Pause. And, um, we can get some mounting on from yeah, here. Oh, yo, you know what, Trap? Mm. No access hole. Let's just make it to where the radiator's above this. Yeah. Let's cut the diameter for this to sit yeah, flush yeah. on that's, here. That's what I'm doing. So I can like be like right above it. Yeah. And I can probably mount straight to the radiator from this top. Yeah. Pause. But then, and then we're also gonna bump into here also. Yeah, I gotta notch that. So we'll notch it, but then we gotta be careful with our wiring. Mm -hmm. So that, but check this out, guys. Look at that. We're gonna come right off of the traction bar. We're gonna, oh, look here. We definitely have to raise it. Look at the bottom trap. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Yeah. So we gotta go oh, higher. Remember, it's gonna go up. It's, so it'll be, technically, it should be like. Yep. It should be like. There ish. Yep. And if it does that, we clear perfectly to our thermostat housing. Big shout out to my boy Track Tough Rob. Track Tough Rob. Man. Wow. My boy. Yo, so let's figure that out now. Yeah. I let's start making our holes in that uh, measure. support. Get it straight and mm -hmm. then just do it. Hit it yeah. Yes, sir. Ready? Yeah. Say when. Slow it down. Uh, good. Uh, keep going. Good. All right, so we just gotta center this. Wow. Wow, that's gonna be nice, man. Yeah, so definitely we have to trim those edges, Trap. I see it from here. Yeah. It's gonna give but us a little trim bit of a nuisance. Where it's like minimal. Size, yeah. Minimal. Yup. Minimal. I kind of wow. want the radiator like this, like real close to this edge right here. Mm -hmm. It looks great though. It does. It does. Yeah, let's take a peek at it. Hell yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, no, no. Let's take a peek at it. Block the camera. This guy here, man. That looks great, bro. Man, that looks sick. Wow. All right, so let's let's do some uh, let's do some marking, let's do some measurements, let's do some trimming, and I think you found the hole saw, right? Mm -hmm. I think this hole saw is gonna take us home, guys. I, I think it's gonna take us home somewhere around there. We'll get this guy to come up. Maybe we could put a nice little grommet around it too, so we don't. Oh, you know, I'm going clean with it. Yeah, we have to go clean. So any I kind of. I think it's pretty. I think it's pretty square. No, nah, it's square. Uh, again, we're, we're just, I don't put this camera down, we're just going to triple check. Ah, uh, that's pretty, all right, so I have to trim. Yo, cousin, cousin. You showing them sign? Yeah, no, no, you, look. Yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> that's definitely me, green mark. I, what? No, I got it on film. This guy, man. All right. Let's do some cutting. So we've decided before we start cutting up here and making notches and stuff, we need to take, we need to take this lip out right here. 
all across down here. Again, we still want to kind of have some, you know, some seal on this. So that's what we got to do. I'm going to trim that next, get a better accurate measurement, and then start making the holes for the radiator cap. Pretty much a surgeon when it comes to this grinder. I've seen it. I've seen you perform miracles with that thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Clean up clean up. Yeah, nah. Listen, guys, I think we should we should stop saying we're gonna clean it up. Yeah, they know, they know they, we're gonna they know, clean it up. They know our up. standards. They know we're gonna clean it up. Come on now. Nah, this is smooth as a baby's bottom. Still a little rough here. I'm getting there. Yeah, just maybe go behind it a little bit. I guess pause. Whatever you got in the game, you threw it. Cabrón. Cabrón. Beautiful. Beautiful job. Now we should have a little bit more room. Mm -hmm. You're good. Watch your fingers trap. Yep. Say when. Oh. Good. You're hitting the traction bar. Yeah, like this that's one. Fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. just but we're gonna raise once it up. that goes up from that there. Mm -hmm. Nah, bro. We're not. We're not. I don't even think we're gonna hit enough. Look, it'll probably just meet it. Yeah. See, what I was trying to tell you is we might. We might tap that because this is going to go up this much mm -hmm. because we need to have this basically sitting flush here. Yeah, yeah that 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 might be an issue, Trappy. Mm. I got the cutter out. Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're actually we're doing this the right way. So. You're pretty snug there, right? You're pretty snug. So 100%, this radiator is gonna hit here, Trap. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is, this is our hole that we made to I'm hold us there. Cut right here. If yeah. I cut from here, this way, I'm good. Yeah, we cut from basically half of it. Yep. Let's just go half of it. Half of it, take this out here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be golden. We're gonna sit right. We're gonna sit right in there. And guess what? We can just run. We can yeah, run a it, bolt right down the through plan. there, and hold it up. That was my thing. So it'll get, go like maybe that. Maybe get like a rubber, like nice heavy duty rubber washers. Mm -hmm. So it has a little bit of insulation. Absolutely. It's gonna shake. This is gonna. This is gonna come out great. Yeah. Let's get to it. Smarter thing is to remove them completely. Nice and clean. Off the spot welds. Now, remember that last clip? 
Let's see how it looks now. Ready? Yes, sir. Wow, I can already see the clearance. Have a more? Good. Oh, yeah. It's gonna actually fall right behind there, like... Uh, what about here? Look. Oh, no, you know what? That we was my fault. To, we may need to cut no, that, that edge. My fault. Look, you have yours bent. And it was bent, and I straightened it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now you're cooking. Now you're cooking with peanut oil. I think we're ready for whole saw, Trap. I think so too. I think we're ready for whole saw. I think we're ready for basically we'll final markings. Yeah, final placement. Yeah. But this is looking sweet. Worked out, bro. Man, great job. Run that, run that first line again. I, I pressed record after you said it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> We're gonna use this ten as our guide for the hole saw, because this is gonna. It's basically gonna half moon this section of the rad support, and we're gonna go right to that fitting with our coolant. Drill bit's not moving. Hold on. Back out. Back out a little bit. Yeah. Start it up. It's because the thread's not moving. Uh huh. Nope. Give me a second, give me a second. I know, what, I know exactly what it is. No, it's on there. It's on there. Try to go on there with some speed. Pause. I call it. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. All right. We're there. Just clean that up there, and this should be enough to go. Whoop. Not bad. Not bad at all. Fully tucked under the radiator support. So we don't even have to really. So well, you see, we put our cap on trap. We do, but. We're not using a hood latch anyway, so we'll yeah, just take, that's gonna be skin. We'll take that out in a section. The whole and thing. then it has these mounting points right here. And I want to put like a nice size rubber mm -hmm. bushing, drill right down. We have the two top supports. Then we're going to do tabs from here to here. But look how nice it is to the bar. So it's almost going to be straight off the top of the bar. Yeah, we're that good. Yeah, we're that good. So we found the thread for the top of the radiator and uh, yeah, we need to cut these bolts. We are looking good. We are looking good, guys. We are looking good. You ever seen more holes in something? So we made slots in it to go in and out or you know and yeah, actually in and out. So when we do have to move it, you see that? When we make our braces for the bottom, it'll be perfectly, so 
most likely it's going to end up sitting around right there. Wow. And that's great. Switch the fitting out here. Right to that hose. That's it. Dash 16, Trappy. Now we just got to... I'm waiting for that compressor to shut down. Sorry, guys. We're going to go dash 16 straight to a 90 dash 16. Down there looks like it's going to be a straight to a 45, give or take. We'll see how it looks. The least amount of kink, pause, the better. I mean, in that case, the more amount of kink. But in this case, the least amount of people. Yeah, I know. You know, people are crazy on here. I like it, though. Wow, that's great. Very bro. well. We could set up our hood latches here. Mm -hmm. Get some real good seal on it. Pause. Add our gaskets in between the body lines. So we, yeah. you know, just doing the basics. Just understanding the, uh, the whole concept of um, circuit racing. Understanding the whole concept of... Like how nice it's going to be yeah. to, like, when it comes time to seal off. Yep. Yeah. It's very easy. It's gonna be super easy. It's we could use our gold there. tape right here. Yeah. I yeah. go gold tape, just both ends have no, like, I don't want any of this hot air just sneaking into the engine bay. Yep, we'll keep all that hot air out. Talk about clearance. That's money. Yeah, that's money. Nah, this is great. This worked out. This worked out great. Um, you want to put that mayhem bar on and see where we can put our oil cooler? Uh, yeah. Well, we got to hurry up and finish because, um, garbage is tomorrow. We got a bunch yeah, of boxes to break down. Sure so. Be right back, guys. Let me get that cooler here. I think I want to go with the, this tab here. And then we have the mayhem bar comes with a bunch of, uh, yeah, it looks All like twelves. Yeah. So I think we can just. Man, that's crazy. If I would have gave him the measurements, he, he would. He could have. Yeah. He could have put. He could have put the cooler for us right here. Let me see. Back up to it. He could have put the cooler for us right there. I didn't give him measurements though. But I think. I think we'll be good there, man. This is uh for reference. If anybody's, I keep saying reference now. It's like my new thing. Uh, if anybody needs, I don't know, advice. I'm using a 19 row Mishimoto. Oil cooler. Remember, it's got to be a little farther up because it's got a fan. The fan goes on. Yeah, we have a fan on there. So, nah, no BS. It should go this way. Like this? Yep. Kinda Definitely have room for the fan. Small angle. We'll figure it out. We'll, get, we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right. We could put it, I like upside down too because when we come off the banjos, I mean the bulkheads. The bulkheads. When we come off the bulkheads, we can, like you said yesterday, stagger them, run twin 90s, come down here, 90, and a 90. What I'd be scared of here is, God forbid, something happens and we bottom out. Oh, uh, no we're nowhere near close. So Trap, this is our traction bar. We're over here. So what I would do, honestly, I'd do 180s. I'd go 180s up and run the lines under the headlight back to the bulkheads. Yeah, we could. We'll figure it out. I'm not. I'm I don't not want to go 90 and then have lines hanging here and potentially something getting caught mm -hmm. sometime. So if we do 180s and run them up the back of the cooler, up around here, onto the bulkheads. I like your thinking. I like your thinking. Wow, what a progressive day, bro. Yo, kick today's ass. Word. Our Yo, spoilers. Our ass. spoilers. 100 percent. We've got uh, we got our mayhem bars in today. We got our radiator situation all figured out. We had some dash 16 line left over from the RXK. So Trappy's gonna make a tri-state motorsports run tomorrow. We'll pick up some uh, dash 16 fittings. We'll start to anybody uh, anybody got a charge harness for? Yeah. I just need this plug. Yeah, we so just O2, need that. O2 to O4. O2 to O4 charge harness. Send, if anyone has one, please send it to the P.O. box. Then DM me and I'll pay you for it. We need a charge harness for the car. Thank you so much. O2 to O4. O2 to the O4 one with the knock with sensor, sensor and, and all that. Yeah. I think need. it has a little green plug, right? For the alternator. It's a green plug. Is it green? Yeah, it's a green, green plug. Green or brown? Yeah, or green or brown. One of those. Hook it up. Somebody, please. 
for um, those down. Yeah. yeah. I'll be honest, Trap. We got fuel, which we should probably knock out tomorrow. We can, we, that fitting if it's home. If not, we can get pretty much the length of it. We can probably do our fuel rail feed, maybe get our throttle on. I'm gonna get the fittings tomorrow, so we'll have upper and lower radiator hose on. Yep. Maybe finalize this, figure out some mounting, maybe go hit Home Depot, try to get some metal. Oh, uh, I honestly think Ben Welds. Ben we'll, Welds probably got something. Yeah, he probably this. got something in the garage that he could hook us up with. We'll have him weld it up for us. Maybe yeah. ask him to come here, mock it up, take the bar with him, yeah. welds it up, we're done. Yeah. Yeah. It's been I mean, a great day. Fuel. Yeah, our goal should be to turn on the car next week. Yeah. Early definitely. next week. But I want to pull the motor out. I want to take care of a few things with the motor out on the stand. Just take my time. There was no reason to rush, you know? God damn it. Yeah, I think it's been in the way all day. What the hell? Trappy, get us out of here, man. I'm tired. We got a lot of cleaning to do, yeah, bro. Yeah, we definitely do. Um, thank you guys for being here. We love you. We love and appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. It's free. Keep going.